Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord, brethren. We welcome you to the power of Hallelujah Part 3 this day. We thank God for Part 2. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord for what He is doing and what He is yet to do for us as He has instructed us as His children to use the many days of this 2022 as the power of Hallelujah. He is a mighty God. He is a God of Israel. Is a God that answers prayer. Is a God of mighty in battle. His word is to be praised. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. I am very sure that this day the Lord will do something transformation in your life. Because the, 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 the teaching of the day is unique. It's unique. I want to thank God for what you are doing in the life of the Son of the Holy Spirit crew. And I want to thank God for the priest and lovers singers. I want to thank God for our Father in the Lord, King of Kings, and the Lord of the Lord. The light in the midst of darkness, ancients of this. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Let's worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. From January to this day, hey, Malaba kada bala bosunda yada bala bala. Eli pa kada bosunda yada bala bala bala. Hani bosunda. We give all the glory. We give you all the glory. Hey. You are wonderful. You are worthy, all of. You are wonderful. Hey. You are worthy, all of. Jesus is wonderful. In January, Saturday, free, February, it makes a way. March, it makes a way. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. To this December, hey, you are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus is wonderful. How did I know that is wonderful? Because he's the creator of the heaven and the earth. He makes the way where there's no way. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the ending. He's Jehovah El Shaddai. He's Jehovah Elohim. He's everything. He's everything. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now we are in the power of Hallelujah Part 3. God has instructed us to use this season to shout hallelujah for him. Why hallelujah this season? Hallelujah is the voice of thanksgiving for God to restore the dead. <laughs> for what? For God to restore the dead. There are many people who have died since January 2022. See this present. There is no life. They are just walking. 
It's not everybody you see walking on the road that are living. There are many who have died. I do, I know. <laughs> you know, the word of the Lord is the strong tower, is the mighty, is the deliverer, is the is the healing to our spirit. The word of the Lord is the light. I want to bless the name of the Lord for this season. What he is doing? In part three, we said, Hallelujah is the voice of thanksgiving for God to restore the dead. In part two, we were told that Hallelujah is the reason for a shouting. Who are those to shout Hallelujah? We were told those are those, the people that believe in his name, that do walk in the righteousness, that do follow his way, that do the will of the Lord, are those that will be particular of shouting hallelujah. That was told us in part two. We are now in part three that said hallelujah is the voice of thanksgiving for God to restore the dead. If we said dead, we can interpret the dead in different ways, different angles, different reasons. There are many things that dead. You know, when you are working, making things right, and those things is not coming up, you are not seeing the light of it. It's dead. We are going to read the scripture, John 11, 28 to 44. It's a story of a man called Lazarus. Many of us know the scriptures. It's not a new scriptures. But is a, there's a something we are about to understand here yeah, that the Spirit of the Lord is going to teach us while we are shouting the power of Hallelujah. And I read in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, John 11 28. The word of the Lord said, and, and when she had so said, she went away and called Mary, her sister secretly, saying, the master is come and called for thee. And soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came unto him. Now Jesus was not yet come into the town, into the town, but was in the place where Martha met him. The Jews, the Jews, them which were with her in the house, and comforted her when they saw Mary. That she rose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying she got unto the grave to weep there. And when Mary was come, when Jesus was where Jesus was, and and saw him, she fell down at his feet. Please, let's mark that place. She fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hast been here. My brother had not died. The first thing that Mary did that she worshipped the Lord. She fell at his feet and gave the word of a faith, a word of assurance. That if that you have been here, my brother will not die. There's many people that say, if that you have accepted Christ, they knew the lifetime of experience will never be in rough like this. There are many people who are saying, oh, if that my parents have given money down, or they have sent me to school, they have done this, they have done that, my life should have not been like this. That is a mistake of what you are saying. What you're supposed to say, if that Jesus Christ has been the part of you, if you have accepted him as the Lord and your Savior, I knew your life will never be in a mystery. Your life will be a transformation. Let me go further. Because Mary understand that if Jesus have been here, his brother will not die. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping, which came with her, he grew in the spirit and was troubled, and said, Where, he, where have you laid him? They said unto him, Lord, came, Lord come and see. And immediately Jesus Christ saw where they kept him. Jesus wept. Ah, she cried. Oh, oh, she go. 
She cried. You know, a man of destiny. There are many as a destiny, but their destiny are not fulfilling. They are still working on the heart, but they are dead. They are still working, you know, wearing clothes, fine clothes. They are driving cars. They thought they are doing what they thought they are. They thought they are doing what they wanted to be doing. But meanwhile, that is not the purpose where they are created on house. There are many people who they are building the house. They are looking. They are living fine, but they are not fulfilling destiny. They are still living, you know, they are dead already. They are dead. It's not about what you have. Are you fulfilling or are you fulfilling the purpose where you are created or has? Jesus Christ saw where they were kept. Lazarus was kept. He wept. Say, so see a man of glory. And was kept or was buried. A destiny that was buried without fulfilling is a wasting destiny. Oh, my glory shine for now. My glory shine for hey. my destiny shine for now. My glory shine for by the power in Jesus. I will shout hallelujah, my glory shall fall. When Jesus Christ went, then he said the Jews, behold, I he loved him. And some of them said, could not his man, this man which opened the eyes of the blind, <laughs> have caused that even this man should not have died. No, the Jews are people that they were saying this. After that, Jesus therefore again grow in a spirit, come into the grave. It was a cave, and a stone laid upon it. Jesus said, Take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was there, said unto him, Lord, by this time, is ticking, which means on oh, 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 he's smelling, you know, for he had been dead for four days. Ah, many glory, many blessings of people have been buried. Ah, I prophesy as many that you are hearing my voice right now, every of your blessings that have been buried for many years. Is being released unto you right now in the name of Jesus. And Jesus said unto her, said I am not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, that should thou see the glory of God. Oh my God. Oh my God. If you believe, you will see the glory of the Lord. You know, but part two, let us know that those that we shout hallelujah must believe in his name. <laughs> and part two, let us know that there is a reason for you to shout hallelujah when there is honor, power, salvation, and glory is there. You will surely shout hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father. I thank thee that thou hast held me. And I know thee that thou hearest me always. But because of these people, we stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he, when he, those are spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. And he that was dead came forth. Bound and a foot with the grave clothes, and his face was bound about with the napkin. Jesus said unto them, Lose him and let him go. Do you know the funniest part of this? There is no miracle without a thanksgiving. 
<laughs> Let me come again. There is no miracle eh, without the thanksgiving. Jesus Christ know all this. That is why he's giving us an example of his living of his life. He said, Father, thank I, I, I thank thee that thou hear read me always. But because of these people, so that they can believe that thou has sent me. I prophesy as many that are hearing the voice of the gospel of the Son of the Holy Spirit, everything that I've died in your body, everything that I've died in your marital home, everything that I've died in your life, everything that I've died in your working place, everything that I've died in your going out and your covenants, everything that I've died in your womb. They say you cannot be a child. Hear me, hear me clearly. By this option of this power of hallelujah, as you shout hallelujah, Celtics, receive your testimony in the name of Jesus. Come forth, Lazarus. Say after me, I came forth from everybody that any man put me through. I came forth from where I've been buried. I came forth to the light of my testimony. I came forth from where I've been hiding to the place of my transformation. I came forth from the way I've been in that of the destiny to the place of my glory of shining star. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I prophesy as many that their destiny and their glory be buried. For many years, you are coming forth to shine in the name of Jesus. Your destiny, your glory that will be buried. As the Lord Jesus Christ has declared to Nazareth, come forth. Oh, I decree unto you this day. In the name of Jesus, your destiny will shine in the name of Jesus. And you shall be blessed. Oh my leba la kada bala le sonde ya baya ya la bo shende ya bala ya ne beke de boko sende de ba lebra kada da kada da 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 boko yo ba hende ga no de ipula kada boko Lazarus who was supposed to go in the journey of 2022 to enjoy was buried before his time Nay, he was buried before his glory he did not enjoy to see his glory set before him Lazarus was under the attack of demonic oppression Lazarus was cut short of his destiny ah, ah. no but power of hallelujah set him free a power of hallelujah is the power of thanksgiving and I pray for you this day father we bless your name you are holy hey Hey, as forever you are Lord. We bless you, Lord. You are holy. Hey, hey, hey. And forever you are God. For what you are about to do, we bless you, Lord. You are holy, and forever you are God. For many days you are going to rise, we bless you, Lord. You are holy, and forever you are God. We bless you, Lord. You are holy. For life you are about to save. And forever you are God. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And forever you are God. We shout hallelujah. And forever you are God. Oh, that's wonderful. 
We bless the name of the Lord for what he has done. My name is Biba Kula Femi. I want to thank God for what he has done. I want to thank my father, the light in the midst of darkness, the ancient of days, the king of kings, for this day that he has given us for the power of Alleluia part three. And I believe in my spirit, as many that have gone through this voice, everything that has died, that have died in your life, that have died in your body, in your career, in your education, in your lifetime, in your marriage, or, or in anything you are expecting God to do, but you are not seeing the signs and you are not seeing the great thing coming up today. There will be a light upon them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.